So as, as you know, the title of the, the show is Cyber Work. And so we want to talk about the sort of work of this. So from a work span, uh, standpoint, do you have any tips or advice for listeners who might be students or cybersecurity career aspirants who might want to work in security awareness, preventing social engineering attacks, or even threat research? Where would you where would you start in 2022 on, on that type of a career journey? Um Stay curious. That's my, my biggest word of advice. Stay uh, stay curious and don't accept don't accept the norm as the norm. Um, mm-hmm. uh, practice uh, if you want to if you want to be a researcher, have build a uh, build a home lab um, and just start practicing. Um, mm-hmm. That's the best the best thing you can do. There's a ton of online uh, online resources out there. Mm-hmm. Um, some through uh, the InfoSec Institute. Uh, there's also Try Hack Me and a bunch of other websites. Uh, familiarize yourself with those, mm-hmm. and then uh, and then just start start staying curious. Because if I was to say study this one thing right now, yeah, two years from now that thing's obsolete. Yep. Um, and understand if you're curious and if you want to get in the industry, please keep in mind that you're preparing yourself for an industry in which landscape you don't know will exist. So mm-hmm. yeah. just that that constant that constant learning. If you're if you have a hard time consistently learning and reading new things, um it's going to be very hard to stay current in this industry. And so start now. Just I would say just start now if you're care if you want mm-hmm. to get into this industry. Yeah. Dude, start now. The yeah. best part about this industry, it refreshes itself Damn near entirely every five years. Yes, five I, I was years. just going to say, someone who started studying in 2017, how could they even imagine what 2022 would look like? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like right yeah. now, I'm I'm thinking of what I learned way, way back. Uh, it's just some of it is good, great foundational knowledge. Yep. I'm not saying like don't understand OSI model or TCP IP or the three-way sure. handshake or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You have to understand some of the foundational pieces there, but a lot of that top level stuff from a research perspective, dude, I, I don't know what I'm going to be researching in the next two years. Uh, so yeah. I'm preparing myself for a job that may not even exist right now. My future mm-hmm. job may not even exist right now. And so if you, ha- if you understand that you stand, you stand, uh, you stand a chance because curiosity wins in this industry. Um, those that, cu- those that are curious, those that are motivated, they win. Yeah. Now, uh, to to that end, I'd be you know because I think soft skills are important as well. Can you talk about uh, you know uh, laying your hands on everything and researching is is amazing advice and staying curious? Can you talk at, at all about the documentation process? Because like one, I think it helps you to sort of clarify what you actually learned, but also I think by documenting it well, you show potential employers that you can communicate with anybody and stuff. Do you have any sort of tips for? the way you do reporting or are there particular report types out there that you can sort of use as like a a blueprint that, you know, I think would help you. Um, Read a lot of white papers Mm -hmm. and start to write some, Uh, Okay. start, start, start to write some doc, but you're right. Documentation is everything in the job. Documentation is everything. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mm -hmm. It's, I'm go. I'm going through it right now. You know, just documentation is everything. Uh, compliance. Uh, you gotta. You gotta get through compliance to some degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, um, docu- documentation is, is absolutely everything. So start reading. Start writing. Um, if you have. If you have a good log, a good log book. Not just talking about digital logs from Splunk or log rhythm or something like that. Right. Uh, but if you just keep a research or a journal or a log of what you've done and what you have and what you have been doing, um, man, it goes, it goes a long way. Cause I'll tell you in the job now, um, if you can't document, uh, it's, oh dude, I, yeah, I, you're, I, I in wouldn't, the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't hire you. Yeah. Um, right. Cause it's absolutely, it's, it's, it's critical to be able to, to look back at historical information or to look back at information that's a couple months old and yeah. understand what this process is supposed to be, what the policy is supposed to be, what the compliance framework is supposed to be, mm-hmm. or what were the findings from this particular incident. If you're just going through incidents and you're not conducting like a post-mortem or a, post, uh, a post-assessment from the incident, 
dude oh yeah. my gosh that's yeah. so yeah. that's that's horrific that's a horrific reality yeah. i'm excited to announce that our infosec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test each month you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between plus we're giving away more than one thousand dollars worth of prizes each month go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now